Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Tuesday? Monday. I'm really turning into an old woman. I really am. Um, I'm in my kitchen. Always laundry on the back of a chair. Always dishes in the drainer. There's none in the sink, thank God. Well, there's a couple of, there's like a Tupperware. Doesn't matter. I just wanted to say hi because I was feeling kind of bored. Kind of depressed. I went through a real strange thing last night. I started crying before I went to sleep and I just, I don't know. I think that crying sometimes is, uh, gets a bad rap. And sometimes you do have to cry and just let out a lot of pent up emotions and stress. And I still have a lot of unresolved issues about my past love life or what I thought was my love life. Um, one of you guys recently said something or other, cause I started to wax a little bit nostalgic, a little romantically melancholic about Nick. And one of you brought me up short and said, you're in love with an illusion. And I've of course lashed back gently, but you know what I want to say to you? I don't, I don't remember if it's Nirvana or Sensha or Nebula, which one of you, um, you were right. I'm, I'm a big enough woman to admit when someone's right. And, um, you're right. It, it was an illusion, a very powerful and, and sort of delicious illusion while it lasted. But re, you know, real love, the word love is bandied about very casually and real love is not built into that amount of manipulation, whether subtle or overt and insecurity and sort of mutual using of each other to fill in gaps, which I guess maybe everyone does to some extent or another, but I don't know. I just, I started writing poetry in my head last night about it and I couldn't sleep and I woke up at 5 a.m. and I was writing things down. As I always say, I may or may not read it. Um, anyway, I'm wearing a Torrid t-shirt that says love. Look at my fat rolls. I'm also wearing a skirt today because I just feel like it. Look at that. See, that's where my weight is. All you guys who don't think I'm fat, I've got a freaking bread basket that won't quit and I'm wearing stockings. Whoops. This skirt I've had forever and boots and I'm just on my way to have a day off. I'm going to go to the laundromat. I have therapy today. Um, as I said, he's a very nice guy. He's quite young and I don't feel the same connection with him as I did with Michael. But then again, my connection with Michael is also questionable because I just, I have a lot of transference issues. It's a real thing. It's a clinical term. It's when someone shows you warmth and kindness, even if it's just in a professional setting and you suddenly transfer onto them all of the needs you've ever had in your life for whatever's missing. And for me, it's the whole male issue for me has to do with my father dying when I was 13, being raised in a cult by a narcissistic bully of a man who scared us but who was the ultimate authority. He called himself God. For those of you who might be new to my channel, I was raised in a cult. Brother Julius, the sinful Messiah. If you want to Google it and have a good laugh and watch the, the two, the, well, yeah, the documentaries, one of which I was in. And the fact that I, I have a brother who I haven't seen in many, many, many years and we have no relationship. Uh, also because of cult ties and also political differences. Um, and two ex-husbands, uh, the first one was arranged in the cult. The second one was not very healthy, pretty dysfunctional and pretty verbally and emotionally neglectful and abusive. So you take all of that and you put it onto a postmenopausal woman who wanders into therapy because of PTSD and substance abuse and dissociative identity disorder and borderline personality disorder and bipolar too. And you throw her into an office with an extremely kind, intelligent, sensitive, funny, good-looking, empathetic man. And I had transference. Yeah. That was part of my poem last night, too. But I didn't even really come on this morning to talk about all that. I just wanted to show off my decent makeup job, which looks pretty shiny in the sunlight. I'm still perfecting the bronzer and blush and highlighter game. But I put on some uh, lashes just because I felt like it. And um, taking much better care of my skin these days. I'm back into my skincare routine, you know, cleansing, exfoliating, toning, moisturizer, under eye cream. You know, I use my jade rollers sometimes to decrease puffiness. Drank a lot of water yesterday. As I said, so today, that's pretty much my day. I, I have to call up um, the manager at one of the houses where I witnessed an incident, not with a resident, but between staff and, uh, and 
I need to <laughs> make sure I'm not a part of that drama. Uh, as I said before, I no longer have the second job and I'm happy about it ultimately. I'm paying my rent today. I am going to the laundromat, therapy, what else? Um, I have to pick up something at CVS that I have a coupon for. Need more cat food. Have to go outside and bring in my trash bin and my recycling bin. And um, yeah, Friday night is the open mic locally. I'm going to do two or three poems there. My friend from work, Maria, is going to come with me. So that's exciting. Um, I'm going to catch an AA meeting later today. So my today is pretty full. I need to keep busy to keep out of my head because I do have a tendency toward anxiety and depression, which are triggers for drinking, which I don't have active cravings ever since I quit on the 16th. But um, I have to be very careful of my emotional state because that is what tends to lead down a slippery path. And that's why I go to AA and that's why I've got people I can call and talk to. Although I have not been calling my sponsor every day, which is very naughty of me. Um, and then it's funny. It's like a, it's like a, um, what is it called? Like a self-fulfilling prophecy. When I start to feel bad about not doing something, it makes me continue to not do it. And then it makes it worse and worse. You know, like ignoring a bill, thinking it's going to go away. I know I have to call her, you know, and not out of a sense of obligation like I used to feel in the past when it came to sponsors, but because she cares about me and I want to report to her, I want to be accountable in my sobriety this time around, you know? Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go to a meeting tonight and keep busy. I'm going to talk to my shift supervisor and see about some day shifts this week. I have the dentist tomorrow. Um, I have to go to my work headquarters and talk about a discrepancy in my paycheck. I have to go to the bank and talk to them about my loan um, yeah, and then there's something going on Thursday. Oh, yeah, Thursday's probation court. So it's really a good thing I don't have a regular 9 to 5 job because none of this would would work into it. I'm very lucky, actually. I have a varied um, shift schedule, flexibility in my, in my job. Uh, this is going on eight minutes. I've pretty much said nothing. It's just kind of like a, a happy Monday video, and I'm going to try to stay true to my mindful eating plan today. I will not call it a fucking journey because that word has been ruined on YouTube by certain people. And I'm not going to call it a diet because I've hated that word since I was a kid. I'm just going to eat mindfully. This morning I had um, my protein drink, a handful of berries and some shrimp, believe it or not, because I was craving more protein. And um, that's about it. Yeah. And on the 15th, I think I might have mentioned, I don't know why I tell you guys my whole fucking month schedule. It's just like for something to talk about. There's nothing really going on right now. And as you know, I don't really talk about other people. Um, I feel bad about my driving restriction because I really want to see my grandchildren and my daughter's new house. And I've got gifts for her and a really pretty welcome mat and stuff. I might go to Michael's today because I've got a 40% off coupon and I would love to get a heart-shaped wreath for my front door, my porch door. And I have to clean my parakeet cage and I have to vacuum my floor. And I'm going to go now. Just wanted to say hi. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.